er, e er. <laughs> I know, I sound like Costco Roddy Rich, but it's fine. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be remaking the box by Roddy Rich. What the heck was that? Oh, my desk broke. Unfortunately, because of copyright, I had to put the full remake in a different video, so link in the description to hear the end result. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at WTF Kyle Beats. And now let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to grab in this song is this sample Love Sex Magic by Sierra Feet Justin Timberlake. And I'm going to drag that right into the playlist. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and select it here and open it up into the audio editor. So once you're in the audio editor, I don't want all this junk. So we just want the intro of the song. So one, two, three. One, two. So right here, Justin Timberlake starts counting down and this is the intro. We wanna get rid of this tail end right here. Now the problem with this is it's too short. This sample is gonna drag out quite a bit in the song. So I wanna copy this and paste it a bunch of times. Only problem with that is it's gonna add little blips. So I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna click spectrum and you can see these little clips right here. So I'm gonna start about right here and I'm gonna blur this entire thing. Click here, press accept. Now it sounds like this. But you still heard like a little clip right at the beginning. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna press this button, clean up denoise, press accept. This song's at 117 BPM. All I did was I took the sample, repeated it four times and stretched it out over eight bars here. So it's just gonna keep repeating. And if you see right here, I'm having it overlap. That way it sounds like it's going into itself all over again. Makes a smoother transition. Next up, we gotta get those eaters in there, that door sound. So all you gotta do is sample it yourself. Eater. <laughs> I know I sound like Costco Roddy Rich, but it's fine. I actually had this pre recorded one right here. Then I'm going to go on a blank audio track and I'm actually going to open up New Tone, which is kind of like an auto tune pitch correction thing. With New Tone open, I'm going to go back to that recording and drag it right in. <laughs> Jeez, it's so bad. I'm going to get rid of these crappy notes right here. I'm going to get rid of these two. I just need this first one. Cut the tail end off of that. Cut the tail end off of that. Then I'm going to pitch this up to a C sharp. So. And I'm also going to drag this one up to a C. And this is what it sounds like now. I'm going to center it just a little bit, get rid of some of that variation and turn this transition down a little bit. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to click this button up on the top right, press send to playlist. Now this is what it sounds like without any effects on it besides that new tone. So it sounds a little dry right now. What I did was I threw on some reverb, not a lot of wet, a lot of dry. I pitched out one of those bad sounds for my voice. I threw in another EQ to raise the mids a little bit, give me a thicker sound, and then sausage fattener, because why not? You gotta trust the sausage. And this is what we have. <laughs> Next up is like a repeating piano melody. So what I did is I grabbed Omnisphere. It's slowing down on me again. I grabbed Omnisphere and I grabbed this preset Dream Piano D50 and I turned off D50 bells. So all we have playing is the Dream Piano right here. And these are the notes that we're gonna play. I'm gonna throw that in a playlist on this fifth bar here because it doesn't come until after the intro. And for this piano melody, all we're gonna do is throw on a transient process to get rid of some of those attack notes. EQ to cut out some of the highs. I couldn't talk, it was too loud. Uh, throw on a limiter and a compressor to get rid of some of those clipping sounds and those really high pointy sounds. Now for the instrumental sample and for the piano keys, if you can't tell, there's a little oscillation going on. It's pitching up and down just a tiny bit. So all I'm gonna do for that sample is I'm gonna go here, click on it, press pitch, click create automation clip, and that's gonna create this clip right here. LFO is low frequency oscillator. So if you wanna hear what it sounds like, let me pull it up real quick. So it's changing the pitch as you automate it. I'm gonna go back to what I had it as. Just making it rock up and down a little bit. Same thing with Omnisphere for those keys. I turned up a lot of the uh, oscillations here though. Also, if you listen to the song, you can hear the sample with uh, Justin Timberlake. It's a little bit louder when this uh, Omnisphere piano comes in right in the beginning. So what I did was I created an automation clip on the volume right here. And I just brought that volume up slightly right in the beginning and then I brought it back down. Next up is like a French horn type sound that comes in during that intro. I use Morphine. It's a plugin that comes with uh, FL Studio. I grabbed this BRS English horn and these are the notes that we're gonna play with that. And so for this French horn thing, I'm throwing on Sausage Fattener to give it a little bit more thickness, reverb, an EQ to cut out some of those weird sounds, and then Love Filter to make it sound a little bit more lo-fi. Next up is that drop that comes on bar number nine of the song. I just grabbed this normal hi-hat right here, and this is the pattern that we're gonna play. I don't have any effects on this hi-hat. I just run Stereo Shaper because it's a little bit uneven if you can't see right here. That'll even it out. Also on the first note of the drop, if you see right here, there's an open hi-hat that plays. 
I think it's a Zaytoven hi-hat. I grabbed one of them, but it's not the exact one. I threw it into an envelope to make it short, and then I threw in a transient processor as well as an EQ to up the attack just a little bit and give it a nice hard punch. <laughs> And that's going to play every four bars. Next up, we have the clap. I just grabbed the Luger slap clap, which is a very popular clap used in hip hop. Playing it on the third beat of every bar. And I don't have any effects on that. I just realized I was giving you guys a little sneak peek at the 808s. Pretend you didn't hear them. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the 808. So all I used for the 808s was this spins 808 right here. I turned up the out knob a little bit right here, but this is what it sounds like. And this is the pattern we're going to play. So I throw in an EQ to make it sound a little harder punching when you're listening on an iPhone. And then Sausage Fattener, of course, because it's my favorite plugin. But the thing with Sausage Fattener is you gotta be a little careful because if you put on too much, it could ruin your whole beat. Perfect. And there is one more 808 sound that's playing on the second bar of every four bars. And it's playing on the first beat and leading into the second beat. And it's gonna sound a little something like this. And all I did to make that effect happen was I took this 808, this spins 808, I clicked reverse, and then I exported that as a sound. You can do save as, however you want. And I ended up tuning up this to like an A or something, which is just like an octave and maybe a half step lower than what the normal 808 is, but it gives a really cool effect. And so with that on the 808, this is what it's gonna sound like. And just to give you guys a little sneak peek at what the full beat's gonna sound like. Thank you guys for watching again reminder the full remake is in the description so make sure you go check it out comment below which song you guys want to see next don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys next time